Okay, uh, we're up to Yud, Yud Beis Amid Aleph. We're up to Yud Beis Amid Aleph, uh, a little past the halfway point through the Yerakais. The Mishnah had said that, that Aleph Tishrei is the, is the Rosh Hashanah Yerakais. What does that mean? That the halach is you cannot take off Misa from one year to the next. It has to be in other words, it has to be the same crap. What's the dividing line? It's Rosh Hashanah, Rosh Hashanah Tishrei. That's the dividing line for what? For for Yerakos. So we said Shmita Yoivleis and Natiya Uli Yerakos. So now we're going to focus on a suya of Maisa. Uli Yerakos, Tana Uli Yerakos. We have a Brisa that says Li Yerakos, Uli Maisrois, which we're going to have to explain because that appears redundant. Yerakos is also Maisrois, guys. Yud Beis Amid Aleph. Yud Beis Amid Aleph. Yerakos is also Maisris, guys, right? So what are you telling me two dins? Now, Maisa over here, guys, means Maisa Dogon. Fellas, outside, outside. Maisa here means Maisa Dogon. Midor Raisa, you only have to take Maisa off from Dogon Tiroish for Yitzhar. Dogon, which is grain, the five grains, right? Uh, Tiroish, which, of course, is wine or grapes, or Yitzhar, is, which is uh, oil or olives. So the oil... Tiroish and Yitzhar, it's going to be right, it's going to be right, Shkai the Shvat according to Beish Shammai and two Bishvat according to Beis Hillel as the dividing point. So when we say Yeraka is from Misa, that's only Le'inyan Dagon. That's only Le'inyan Dagon, okay? So now, however, Tanu Le'Yeraka is the Misa of Ulan Adarim and Adarim. We'll see what that means. Now the Gemara says, Le'Yeraka is my Nino. What's my Yeraka? Uh, it's Misa. It's right. So Yerek, Heinu Maisris. So what's the Bryce is saying, guys? Oh, no, Yerakos one, Maisus two, Lindarim three, right? Yerakos and Maisus are synonymous. So it's going to turn into Rabbanon, but turn into Rice. So you're very good, smart guys, right? Yerakos are all the Rabbanon. There is no, but the dog on Maisus, which is dog on, is the Rice. Fred Gemar, we're listening to the Rice of Beresha. So learn Maisus before Yerakos, if you're telling me in the Brisa that Yerakos means Maisus the Rabbanon. And, and Maisus means that the, the Rice, so list the Rice, the Machoshev one first. Says more, you know, chashivas is very, very relative. I did the chavivale acne since it's more to them the drasha of your to go ahead and take, and we'll see why we're getting the sugya of why your rockers you take off the rabbanon. Then uh, that's why it's more chashiv to them, and therefore, and therefore are they listed in the brisa? They listed your rockers before meisers. The tana di don, right? Our tana guys did not learn your meisra; it's just on your rockers, right? It said shmita yavlois. Shmita Yavlois, Nitiya Yerakos. Why didn't it learn Mice race, right? It's contrasting to the Brysa. Because inevitably, the Brysa always is more expansive than the Mishnah. In learning, always realize that you can get a better clarity of the bright of the Mishnah by the Brysa usually. But Rebbe wrote the Mishnah very big kitzer, right? He wanted, he went very, very short. He wanted, again, the Greek Lushan, and, and that was the most uh, succinct. And Lushan. So, but the Bryce is always more expansive. So the Gemara now goes the other way. So good that the, the Bryce found the need to expand. So how come we did not go ahead and count that? It says the Gemara Tana the Rabbanon when we learned your rockers, the Kolshkin the Raisa. Kolshkin that what that 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 it's the, I don't know what the Kolshkin is. You, you're just giving me a cutoff point. What kind of cost? You know, it is it is what it is. I mean, what, what, what's the Kolshkin? It's a very funny Lushan. You know, look at Rashi. Turn it up, Bono, and Vashmina, the Yom Kabua, like Kolshkin, the Raisa. Now, so you're telling me that there's a day that's Kavua. So, if there's the day that's Kavua for the Raisa, the Kolshkin, there's a day that's Kavua, uh, excuse me, if there's a day that's Kavua, the Rabbanon, Kolshkin, there's a day that's Kavua for the, the Raisa. Okay, Fred the Gemara now. The listening Misa, it says, guys, look, look at look, look, the Raisa, guys. Tony Yerokos, Ule Maisris. Which mice are you talking about? It's singular. All you're talking about is mice dagon, right? So why is it a lushan of rabbin? It should be a lushan of yachid. So, and for the Gemara, echad mice behemav, echad mice dagon, right? Again, this is not the Mishnah. Our Mishnah had the machloikis rat by by mice behemav, whether it was Rishchidish Elo or Rishchidish Tishrei. I met the machloikis between Reb Meir and Reb Loza and Reb Shimon. Right over here, no. The Bryce is simply saying when it says Maisris, it's going, it's going Tishrei. It's passing like a Shimon, guys. Right? Remember Mishnah? Go back to Mishnah. Go back to Mishnah. 
I know the Mishnah, but I, I've been acting a little longer than you. Look, what does the Mishnah say? Abu Rosh Hashanah, Hey, Becha Benisin, Hey, Rosh Hashanah, Malachim, We'll call him Becha Be'el Rosh Hashanah, Maisa Behema, Hey, Velas of Shemunayim, and Becha Betishrei. So now, when the Brisa, when the when the Brisa li- listed, when the Brisa listed, Echad Maisa Behema, Echad Maisa. Dagon, and it said Tishrei, obviously it's not like Reb Meir who said Elo, it's like Reb Lezer of Shimru who said Tishrei. Okay. Fred Gemara, but the same question, by the Bryce it said Yerokos, uh, right? Felisni uh, Yerek. Felisni Yerek. Yerokos is Robin. Why use Lashon Robin? Just learn Yerek. And for the Gemara, Trey Gavni Yerek. I'm going to learn two things of Yerek. So now, guys, before we begin, we, by now we know that in order to stop you in the Roy, it has to be a Gemara Malacha, right? Or Roy Pnei Abayas. In other words, that's the, the finish point. So we're going to give the finish point for two different night Yerakos. You did not. Yerik had ne'agad, and a Yerik that is, you, that is usually, usually uh, tied up, for example, uh, you have uh, carrots, right? You, you tie the carrots, you buy a, a bunch of carrots or onions, so we put them in bags that they're tie, usually tied up. Meshiyegad, the Gemar Melacha that you can't eat Achilles Aroi is what is when it is tied up. And when it's not tied up, in other words, and the Yerakos that are not tied up, when they fill the Kli. At that point in time, you have a Chiyav to give Maisa the Raisa, and if, uh, not the Raisa, but you have a Chiyav give, to give Maisa, it's Gemar Melacha, and therefore you can't eat Achilles Aroi. Okay, that's so. So again, so going over the Mishnah, we said the Mishnah that Echav is 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 a uh, is Rosh Hashanah li Yerakos. That's Linya Maisa. We had a Brisa that said Maisa is in Yerakos. I just wish I had my my phone. Do me a favor. I probably bring out your phone. I want you to copy. I want you to wait a minute, running back and forth. Do me a favor, because I want to send it to somebody. Okay, wait till they come up again. I want, I want to send it to somebody. The guy who told me that they want this close to the Torah here. <laughs> okay. Yeah, At, uh, no, I don't think so. Anyway, so so we have over here, so we have over here that, so we have Yerukah. So now, Tan Rabbanan. Likek Yerek, Erev Rosh Hashanah. If you go ahead, and you take off a Yerek Erev Rosh Hashanah. Erev Rosh Hashanah, you go ahead and you take off Yerek. So again, that's the cutoff point, Tishrei, right? Actually, Tava Shemesh, before sunset. The Chaza Velikate on the base, the Chaza Velikate, Misha Tava Yashemesh. And then you took off what? You took it off when the Shemesh sets. Good? Listen to this. Ein Tarmin Umais Mizel Zet. But first of all, guys, how do you go ahead and, and, and Milake Paris and Shabbos? Right? Oh, Yontif. Tishrei is Rosh Hashanah. Yeah, so look at the top twice with The Yushami Mukila bin Nachri. In other words, don't get caught up in the Iraq. We got a Yontif problem. Before the, the you know, sometimes you focus on the Misa problem, you got another bigger problem. How in, on Rosh Hashanah are you being Malaki vegetables? So we said, if the Rosh, it must be what? Al Yedei and Nachri. But what's the Kiddush, guys? That ain't Tarminu Maisu Mize Alze. You can't go ahead while I take off. Trumas umaisim is al zewai. Shain tarmin umaisim in loimin a chadash al yashan, loimin a chadash. Before Rosh Hashanah, that's Shain Yashan. After Rosh Hashanah, that's chadash. They're two different years. In other words, it could be a matter of, of a half hour or, or, or an hour, or whatever that, that Zman is. Yet it could be two totally different years. Conversely, conversely, guys, conversely, if it's after Rosh Hashanah, that, you got the whole year. And before Rosh Hashanah, that you can't go from the same year. No, it's you got 354 three days, right? That would be the same year. You can have one hour and it's two separate years. You can have one hour, it's two separate years. Uh, Abraham, you want to ask the person who's, who's sneaking in? Okay, so now, so we, that's the cutoff point. Now, says, says the, the Bryce of Vaita. In Hosh, Shnia, okay, one second. Uh, Guys, you know, there's a million times I go over it, but I have to say it a million times. In the in the hafrosha of Chumas and Maisa, you always take off Chuma, you always take off Maisa Rishin. Depending on the year, you'll take off Maisa Shani or Maisa Ani. If it's a one, two, four, and five year, you can take off Maisa Shani. If it's a three, six year in the Shemitah cycle, you can take off Maisa Ani. So now, depending upon the Yerakis, which year it goes into, it's going to influence what Maisa you take off. Uh, so now that's what the Gemara is going to discuss now. 
Im hoisa shniya nichnesis lishlishis. So if you have the second year that's nichnes vat lishlishis, you have the second year that is nichnes into the third year. Shniya maisa rishain. The second year you're going to take off maisa rishain. U maisa sheni, right? You can take a, uh, you can take a my solution, my sashani. And 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 shlisha and and shlisha is my sarishain u my saani. Okay, so that seems to be pretty much clear cut. The Gemara asks, Mino Hadi Mili. Fred Gumanami lead, how do you know that in the third year you're not knowing my sashani? How do you know in the third year you're not knowing my sashani? Now this is a, a, a Vel's question. I'm sure Ben Levi. It says, When you go ahead and you you could finish being take ma'isa of your tefuah b'shona shlishis shnasa ma'isa. Now the word shnasa ma'isa is very interesting, right? Shnasa ma'isa means it's a year of ma'isa, meaning only one year of ma'isa. Shona she'ein bo ella ma'isa echad. It's a shona that's what ein bo ella ma'isa echad. It's a shona that you only have what one ma'isa. So what does that mean? You only have one ma'isa, guys. What does that mean you only have one Misa? Is there a year you take off only Misa Rishon? So you know what it means? You're going to interpose and change Misa Ani for Misa Shani. Right? Okay, it's sad. Misa Rishon or Misa Ani. Or Misa Shani, you bought though. So again, we're dashing the, the guys, we're dashing the word Misa Rishon, meaning you only take off one Misa aside from Misa Rishon. Okay, one more time. I'm not convinced just because I'm yelling. Anyone knows what's going on? You have a Pasuk. Why does the Pasuk say, you finish going ahead, and this is discussing Misa Ani, guys. You finish go ahead, and you finish take of your Misa in the third year. Shnasa Misa. Shnasa Misa means a year of Misa, of, of one Misa. Now, what does one Misa mean? So, Misa Rishon is a given, but Shnasa Misa, it means you're only going to take off Misa Ani and not Misa Shani. One Misa aside from Misa Rishon. That's how you know that what? Misa Oni, which was Shani, which was in the first two years, is bottle in the third year. Okay, that's what I'm saying. Let's see it in the words. I'm going to show you. Kisachal Lass is called Misa Devuasa, but Shona Shlishis, Shnasa Misa, Shona Shane Bo, Ella Misa Echad. The Shona that only has one Misa. Okay, it's sad. Misa Rishon, Umisa Oni, Umisa Shani, you bottle. It means you take off Misa Rishon, you take off Misa Shani, and Misa Oni, and Misa Shani will be bottle. Ayena Ella, maybe you go in the opposite direction. Ayena Ella, Af Maisarisha, Nami, you bottle. Guys, maybe one means one. Maybe, guys, maybe one, me, maybe one means one. It only means one. That's it. You're only going to take off one thing. Only Maisa, Maisa, Shani. Tamalayma, Velalviyam, Tidaber, Ramata Leyam, Kisichu, Mies Bene Yisrael. As a Maisa, Shana Satilachem, Me Itam, Binachlaschem. Now we're going to make a hekish between the Misa and the Nachla. Hekakisha because of the Nachla. Ma Nachla in La Hefsik, just like Nachla has no Hefsik. And again, they get no Nachla. The Levian. Af my Savishan ain't lay Hefsik. So to my Savishan has no Hefsik. So guys, look, look at me. Give him my druthers. It says Shnasa Misa. It can either mean one Misa or it can mean two Misa. It means two Misa. My Savishan, which is a given, and Misa Oni, we have the Misa Shani's bottle. But it can never mean just Misa Oni. That why, in other words, you're going it, clearly. It says that you bottle one Misa. So, 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 how do you know it doesn't mean literally one Misa, only Misa Ani? Because we see the case that when we make a hekish between the Nachla and and the uh, Misa, just like Nachla is to me this, so to my solution is to me this, it's all the time. Now, the Gemara is going to assume that to try to give another source, and we, we, we're, we're going to say that, that we're not we're going to limit that source. Tanya Nami Hachi. Let's change the gear. So we have a brisa also that's going to bring the source from Nachla that might that Maisa Rishon stays in place. It says Kis Chalu Asa the whole pasuk is called Maisa. That's the pasuk that's speaking about Maisa Ani. Shana Shein Bo Ela Maisa Echad. Okay, it's sad. Maisa Rishon or Maisa Ani or Maisa Sheni Yibatol. Yochalaf Maisa Rishon. I'm Yibatol. I might think that you take off Maisa Rishon is also bottle. And the only Maisa you're going to take off is Maisa Ani. Tamer Loimar a different pasuk. Uba Halevi calls him. Anytime the lady comes, give him my solution. Did Rabbi Yehuda? Rabbi Yehuda, Rabbi Yehuda, no, in it's Sarah. You don't need the Pasuk of Balai. I got the Pasuk of the comparison to Nachla. Are you Oimer, Belovim, Tadaber, Mata, Leim, Kisikum, Espenay, Soil, and Samaisa, Shed Nasat, Lachem, Me Itam, Benachalaschem? 
That's the Tanya Nami Hachi, but that's the source. The fact that we compare my solution to Nachla. And just like Nachla is to me, this is all the time, so to my solution is all the time. So, what we did tonight, guys, so far is what? We discussed the Yurakos. We said the Yurakos, what are my as Tishrei is, 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 is the Yurakos. And that's the cutoff point for new and old. And we say, and we got the source that what? How do you know that Maisa Oni goes to Maisa uh, Sheni goes to Maisa Oni? It's bottle. It's because in the Pasuk of Maisa Oni, it says one Maisa. Which Maisa is that? Aside from Maisa Rishon, it's Maisa Oni. Okay. Ulin We said in our Mish- we said in the Brisa, we said in the Brisa that Meshchaydish Tishrei is the cutoff point for the Dorim. What does that mean? Tan a guy says, listen, a guy gets angry at a guy, he says, listen, I am not going to have enough from you for a whole year. You, all your property is us to me. You make a neda. A neda, guys, is always in the object, the shoe is in the person. You're making a neda. You say, this, this right now, I'm not going to go ahead and have enough from Shmero. When he says a year, what does he mean? A full year. However, if he says, I'm for this year, I feel like even if what he made the nether on the 29th day of Elo, which would mean only one more day to the year, since he reaches the first day of Tishrei, also the, the year it's gone. In other words, what does the Dara mean? If you say Lishana Zu, you don't say Lishana for a year, you say Lishana for this year, you know when this year ends? Tishrei. That's it. And even if it's only one day, I we have a, a number who holds that why one day, only Rebbe holds one day. Remember, we had this more earlier. Is it 30 days, Rebbe Yezer, or one day? Right? We had it like a long time ago, like maybe. Yes. Sir. Yes. <laughs> That's right. <laughs> maybe two days ago. It seems like yesterday. It's an. Yeah, maybe Jesus rushed the way to the Uh-uh. So now, listen now. Even though Man Diyamu just holds that one day is not a year, the Tzurei Nafshi Kibbal Lav. But it's Tzarei Lav. The reason he made this Ned in the first place, guys, is the reason he made Ned in the first place, guys, is because of what? Because of Tzarei Lav. The reason he made this Ned in the first place, guys, the reason he made Ned in the first place was, was to what? We met Tzar himself. And one day is enough of Tzar. Fred the Gemara of Eman Nisan. But let's say he means Nisan. In words, we have been going back and forth between Nisan and Tishrei. Those seems to be I guess based upon the, the Machloikas and Rebbe Yezim of Yeshua, that seems to be the two, two biggies, right? So why do you choose Tishrei? Why not Nisan? He says, as Mendy just said, Benedorim, Holoch Achalosh, Benayodam. Guys, when I say Rosh Hashanah, what do you mean? But, uh, guys, when I say Rosh Hashanah, what do you mean? Tishrei. So that's it. So you, there's no half me to say Nisan. You mean Tishrei. Because Kol Nitrei, where you're is is in is in Tishrei. Well, that you have but you want you want to end any neder. That you wouldn't have to, this neder is not chal anymore. It's over already. You wouldn't have to be made for this neder. We call Nidre as on the norm we still have. This neder is over already. This muda no, it, it, it ends right now. This ends. What? No, but I'm saying this neder doesn't exist anymore. This does this doesn't exist. It's over there. This neder doesn't exist anymore. Hanan Hassan. Hatilson, that's Fenakrik, Mishet Titzmach. When does Fenakrik, when you have a Chiyav, what year do you go after? When it takes root, when it, when it grows. Hatfua, Tfua is Dagon, guys. Tfua is Dagon and, and Tirosh. Vazesim, Mishavi Shlish. The time they grow a third of their growth. That knows when's it considered part of the year? Which point in time in the development of the crop is it considered part of the year? At which point in time? So regarding Tfua and Zaysim, when it grows a third of its growth, and Tilsim, when it, it's Mishatitzmach. The one wants to know, my Mishatitzmach, what is Mishatitzmach? Mishatitzmach is Ria. When you plant it, the Zrayim, when you, when you plant the seeds, as soon as it's planted, it seems to be at that point in time. Tfua and Zaysim, Mishivo Shlish, Mnani Mili. How do you know this din of Shlish? Om Ravasi, Om Rabbiachan, Umatva Mishen Rabbiachan, Glili, Om Akra. Listen to this pasta, guys. Miketz Shevashanim, at the end of seven years, Bamoed of, of Shnas Hashmita, Bichagasukois. Now, guys, if you're holding in Sukkot, Shmita is over already. Shmita is over when? Tishrei. So, what, what do you mean, Chagasukois? What? My avidity, what is it doing? My avidity, Bichagasukois, Shminasi. 
What are you doing? The Chag? It's not the seventh year, that's the eighth year already. What's the Chag Azukas doing during the Pasuk? The, at the end of seven years, the Maya of Shashmita on Chag Azukas. What does that mean? Shona Shmata Maya Vinate. What is the Chag Azukas? What does Shmita have to do with Sukkis? Shmina Si. Sukkis is already the eighth year. You know what it comes to teach you? Kol Tavua Shevia Shlish Bishvias. Any tfuah that grew a third of its growth in the Shemitah year, Lefnei Rosh Hashanah, at the Noi Boi Minik Shviyas Bishminis, in the eighth year, right? In the eighth year, Sukkot is in the eighth year. If it grew a third of its growth before Rosh Hashanah, we will consider it vis-a-vis the eighth year as Perish Shviyas, and you can't go ahead right and do business with it. Amal Abzeir Levasi, Vidil Mulayal Klau, maybe nothing came up at all, and you know what it's telling me? That after the extension of Shemitah will extend to Sukkot, that you won't be able to go ahead, what? It'll extend to Sukkot, and you won't be able to go ahead and and do Charisha Vikatsira. You won't be able to go ahead and cut and, and plow. Maybe that, that's what it means, guys. Why do you say it means that what? That something grew. Maybe nothing grew. Maybe nothing grew. But why are you teaching me? You're teaching me Allah that what? That you can't, will extend, will be Moisif, Michal Allah right? Will extend that you can't cut, you can't do Charisha Vikatsira. In the eighth year, says Moloi Salkadaita. The Chsiv, the Chaga Osif. Okay, I have to get this Pasuk Yud Gimel. Um, it says the Chaga Osif. It says Hashana, but us because as Masachem and Asada, the Chag Osif, and when the, the, the year goes out, but us because when you gather as Masachem and Asada, so guys. So it says the Chag Osif, and then it says when you're gathering Masa. Now, guys, want to know my Osif? When the pasuk said Osif, what does it mean? Ilay Machag Habab is Manasifa. If you mean it says this man when you go ahead and harvest your crops, you gather it in. Aksiv Bospecha. It says the same pasuk. It said Bospecha. El my Osif. What does Osif mean? Katzer. It means to go ahead and harvest. So when you're harvesting, the kimul rabbanon, the chol tfuah she niktsra bechag, any tfuah that you can cut on the chag, the yedua shehevi shlish the rosh hashana, the kakari le b'tzeis hashana. So we skies we call b'tzeis hashana when the year goes out of shmita, and the chacham had a, had, had a, a idea that it grew a third of its growth, and therefore what it would be asa. Amalei of yemilav zera, the kimul rabbanon ben shlish lepachas mishlish. Ravimi says to Rav Zeva, and the, the, the Rabbanon, they, they, they knew the difference between. Uh, uh, <laughs> I know someone who asked me this question. The Rabbanon knew the difference between. He's not in this world anymore. Right? The Rabbanon knew. knew right? the, the, the Rabbanon knew they knew the difference that something between the Shlish that, that didn't grow, the, grow that through grew a Shlish, that couldn't grow a Shlish. We, 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 why would you say that? You know? He has the answer now. Yeah, now he has the answer. No, Guess what? We, we, we have an answer. We have an answer. Well, let's listen. Let somebody told him. Yes. So, so yeah, he's still asking the question, though. He's not asking the question. Uh, so he said, Amale, so Rav, Rav Zeyra told Rav Yermia, Lav Aminucha, did I didn't tell you, like, tape it, Navshko, Levarme, Ahochasa, don't go ahead and get, you know, don't put yourself outside halacha. Guys, there's a there's a sefer called Yifei Naim. It's in the back of the Gemara. Right? He quotes the Gemara in Baba Basra. Rav Yirmiya asked about the Midas Chacham Mokavei of Chamisha Mama. They threw him out of the base medrash. <laughs> they, they, they threw him out of the base. They threw him out of the base medrash. Asking this kasha. So that's why he told him. Was there he told Rav Yirmiya, don't take this kind kasha to get thrown out of the base medrash again. You know, so it's, it's a good heter for certain questions. You know. Anyway, so he said, don't ask this stuff. You you know why? I'll tell you why. And the Gemara goes on. Right. This is all the Midas You have a, guys, you have a mikvah, it's 40 saw. You're missing a little bit, no. Mikvah, 40 saw, you can be Taival in. A little bit less, you can't. Kibetza metamet Thomas Eichlin. The share of Thomas Eichlin is a beya. Kibetza chasach shumshimin, ain't a metamet Thomas beya. Take a sesame piece of the beya off. It's not metama. Shleisha, shleisha, metama, midris. Three, three amis by three amis. Uh, uh, three tefachim. I, I say amis now. Three tefachim by three tefachim. That's my rule. 
if the if the if, the, if it's female, if it's female, then the word it's male. So that's you know it can't be amis. It's got to be tefachim, right? It could be shalosh amis. So shloisha shloisha tefachim mitama midras. That is the shear to mitama the midras of a zav or a nida that would push down on something. It's something right? Shloisha shloisha by chasul nima. If it's even missing one here, achas ena mitama midras. So Rav Yirmiyah said, I didn't say anything. And I guess we'll go a little bit because we'll see this tomorrow. Okay, wish everyone a good job.